Drawing materials needed are drawing paper with border line and title block. Foot rule. Drawing compass. Pencil. And of course, eraser. Are you ready for the activity? Let's begin. Approximately at the center of our drawing paper, let us draw a small cross. And name this point C. Using your compass, set your compass at point C at any convenient radius. Okay. Set your compass at point C. Then, draw a circle. Next, draw a line AB that passes through the center. Okay, using your uh, foot rule, draw a straight line. Any line that from your circumference to another part of the circle, draw a straight line that passes through the center. Let's do it. Okay. Let us name this line A B. Did you follow? Next, get your compass. Adjust your compass more than half of the radius from point A, more than half of your radius. This is the half or the radius. It should be the opening of your compass more than half. Okay. This is now more than half. Then... Draw an arc on the upper portion and on the lower portion. All I have to do is you're going to adjust this. Huh? Okay, adjust your compass more than half of the radius. Okay, then draw an arc on the upper portion. Then on the lower portion of your drawing paper. Do not adjust your compass anymore. Set your compass at point B. Then, draw an arc on the upper portion and on the lower portion. Have you seen an intersection of two lines? Okay, let us name this point D and point E. Connect point D and E to bisect the circle. Using your foot rule, connect point D and point E. Let us try. And it should be passed on the center or point C. Okay. Point D, pass through the center to E. 
example K. That's it. We already bisect the circle. How did you find the activity? It is easy, isn't it? Let's proceed to the parts of the circle. In here in our drawing, this is the circumference. The distance around the circle. That is circumference. Next is radius. A line from the center to any point on the circumference. For example, point C and B. Point C and A. Okay. Radii, that is the plural for radius. Two or more radius. Okay. Let's proceed to chord. Chord is a line connecting two points on the circumference of the circle. Okay. Let's draw a chord. A line okay. that is chord. Let us name this point F and point G. Point F and G, that is the example of chord. Next is diameter. It is a special chord that connects two points of the circumference of a circle passing through the center. For example, Line A B that pass through the center. Okay. Next is tangent. A line that touches the circle at one point. Okay. Let us draw here. Tangent. It should be there is a point of tangency, the line and the arc touches each other. That is tangent. This is the point of tangency. Let us name this point T. Next is second. A line passing through the circle at two points. Okay. Passing through. When you say passing through, it on, not only touches the circumference. It should be pass through. Okay, let us try this. Okay. That is second. Let us name this H and letter I okay next is arc any curve on the circumference of the circle that is arc for example point G and B point G and F point F and A point A and B Point A and F. Point F and G. That is arc. Did you understand? Did you get the parts of the circle? Great! See you in our next video lesson. I hope you learned from me today. Thank you so much for staying with me. You did a wonderful job. Once again, I'm Teacher Fredly Miranda. It's been a pleasure being with you today. Keep safe, everyone. Bye. Don't forget to like, 
share, subscribe, and click the notification bell button for more updates and more upcoming video lessons. Bye, babies!